Hey there, so uh, let's try to get some more uh, of this going. Uh, unfortunately, I, I really wish I could have, like maybe, I probably should have studied the ships a little bit more, uh, but I can't like pick what our goal is going to be until we see the tiles. So uh, there is a, gonna be a bit of um, analysis paralysis again. Um, so I, this is just like in my workplace, you know, when a project doesn't go as well as you'd like, uh, you do a little bit of a lessons learned from it, right? And so what's my lessons learned? Uh, the first one is, is that um, these NPCs, especially on hard mode, uh, can pack a punch and they can really damage you pretty badly. Uh, the second one is, is I think I got too cute with the uh, goals. So for example, uh, we went after the, oh, it doesn't matter, the expert explorer here, where half of my victory points had to come from exploration tokens, and that was just really a difficult thing to do, uh, especially with a scoundrel hunting you the entire time. I don't think it would have been as bad if I didn't have that. So there's things like this, Merchant Master, where uh, you have to buy and sell cargo. Uh, I was skipping this one because I felt like, you know what, there's some skills you can get from the campaign here that makes buying and selling cargo easier. Um, but you know what, I think I may need to just quit worrying about that and just go for it right away. Um, mission Master is another one. Uh, earn points from missions. So it's possible we could just do missions and and win. Um, so uh, so where am I going with this? I think I was like taking a couple of these and like saving them. You know, they they seemed like they were they were pretty straightforward and easy, and I was saving them for when I had a few other upgrades, so it'd be a little easier. To, <laughs> excuse me to do the mission master in particular. I wanted better engine power. Right, because to do missions you need to move around the map, and so I thought, okay, I but better mission power. This one I was thinking, okay, I want the better, the better upgrades to uh, buying and selling. Uh, but I'm at this point now where I'm like, you know what? After we just got our butt handed to us, uh, we need to just win, and so I need to quit uh, trying to be cute and perfect. Um, also, I think the ship that I picked. Uh, didn't help us as much as I thought, and so that was just a poor choice. Okay, so uh, what do I do here? Well, it's uh, back to the beginning, and uh, we're going to draw four tiles. So I just, as you can see, I just made a big mosh podge here. These are really hard to shuffle, by the way. Um, uh, there's no better way to shuffle them than to do this. And so we're just going to reach in and, and grab uh, four of them, minimum, right? This is one. Okay, so we only need three more. Um, and then after we get three more, we must have at least two spawn points, okay? So if I don't have uh, either of those conditions met, I keep drawing. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and draw our first one. And we got Neo Damascus, which uh, we never saw last time because that's where you could sell the spice. Um, I forgot to declare uh, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to just do the arrow here. And I don't know where the arrow is on here, so let's find it. And, yep, there it goes. All right, so I'm going to scoot this over a little bit. And um, before I continue, I think we should do this first. So I'm going to roll for blue. It's a one. I'm going to roll for orange. And it's a five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the pink is two. And then the green is four. These are heavy cubes. Like compared to normal cubes, they're very heavy. And uh, they feel really nice. Uh, the quality of the components in this game is amazing. All right, and then purple was six. So we got a pretty filled up market here. Which, uh, if we get the same merchant we had last time, is not good news for us. So, two, four, and six, and I can't count. Okay. All right, so... Uh, Neo Damascus is one of the trade routes for the merchant. And uh, we do have a spawn point. So, we got one of our two. 
All right, I'm gonna reach way in the back here. Let's get one of these as our number two. All right, so we have a dead world, and I forgot to count again. I'm gonna go this way, the opposite way. Um, so that would be this one. And I said the word count. I meant I forgot to declare where it was gonna be. All right, and then my next one's gonna be here. I'm gonna match this symbol. All right, so this is a dead world again. Remember, you can't um, you can't recharge your energy. It's it's completely dead. There's no no civilization on this world. Um, so we have our four ex excavation tokens. We don't get to look at them. And um, they do get these explore tokens. So let me grab one for here and then one for there. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one right on top for the straight. All right, and we got an asteroid belt. Okay, so we've drawn our four and we have our two spawn points. So we've successfully uh, started the game. Okay, so we're not gonna draw any more. We have our four tiles with a, a spawn, two spawn points. All right, so we always start with the kiln. Um, that one is a mandatory one. Uh, so uh, we're good to go. Now, uh, there was no loath and there was no um, uh, Kemplar. So we gotta find that now. And so that's part of uh, the sadness of, of shuffling these. So, um, there's Kemplar, and all right, we're going to keep going. <clears throat> Yay, yay, yay. So this is definitely different than the last game, isn't it? <laughs> last game, these came out right away. There it is, there's Loath. Okay, so as you can see, I now have tiles that are not really shuffled anymore. So once again, we're gonna have to shuffle them up. And then I'm gonna pick five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, these are just five random ones. The uh, rest of these, we're going to just make a pile, and I'm just gonna try to grab from different places, because I know even with the way I shuffled, they could still be a little bit clustered together. So we're just gonna grab different ones, and we now have ourselves a draw pile, okay? All right, so this draw pile, I'm just gonna slide over there. It's not uh, very clean. And then what we do now is we take these two, and they get mixed in with the top five, so they're going to be part of the top seven. And boy, oh boy, this is going to be really difficult to shuffle. So I think you need to just sort of like throw them and then try to wipe your mind and think about like homework you did in college or something to uh, try to forget which tiles were which. All right, so there we go. Hopefully, I mean, you know, top seven tiles is top seven tiles. So they're gonna come out soon enough. Um, so uh, they go right on top, okay? Now, the important part of this is uh, the merchant comes out when there's two planets on its trade route, okay? Kemplar is one of the two. And the other one is already here. So as soon as Kemplar comes out, the merchant's coming out. And then the enforcer comes out only if Kemplar's out, and the scoundrel comes out only if Loth is out. So unlike our last game, this game is going to start with a completely empty space map, and we get time. Uh, the NPCs aren't on the board from the start, so we don't know what their AI is going to be, because they haven't spawned yet. So that is one disadvantage, uh, but we're gonna have time. <clears throat> so we need to pick our uh, our ship and our mission, and we're going to get to play for at least a few rounds, right, uh, without the NPCs. And I'm going to start right away by saying, 
you know, normally I like to like scan, right? And explore tiles. There's a part of me that thinks that maybe we don't want to do that because then that prolongs how long we get to play without these, um, these other ships getting added to the game. Uh, I have to think that through because uh, there's not an awful lot to do here, but we can come here and do some excavating for quite a few turns because this is where you hand it in, right? So you go here and then you hand in here. That's a nice short route, right? So we could do that and uh, get ourselves some fame points and some bling and, uh, and then do all this before the NPCs even enter the game. So I think that's pretty sweet and I'm going to strongly consider that. And so I'm going to make this a very short video. Uh, we did our setup here. Um, we have 2000 bucks. So I'm gonna try to figure out my ship. I'm gonna figure out what mission I wanna do. I'll do all that off camera and then I'll just explain to you my logic once I start. So uh, thanks for watching, stay awesome.